Hi folks, here we are again up at this uh, fishery just above Cumnock. This is Borland Fishery and it's a bit different today from my last um, times on the, the YouTube which we're using heavier lines. I was also keen to use five weight outfits. So what we've got today is a floater with a five weight rod and a weight forward sink tip five weight with another five weight rod. Now the problem you have with fishing with five weight lines is they haven't got the same line weight as you have let's say with a seven, eight or even a nine weight. So what do you do to get distance? You actually have to speed up the whole casting process and if you watch here you actually have to do a very strong pull going into your back cast and then allow the line to completely straighten and then another sharp pull on your forward cast. You can see here that's the 30 yard line without any great difficulty you're getting the whole 30 yards going out and as I go on with the um, demonstration here you'll see you can get up to 15 yards of the um, backing going behind it. That's giving you a good distance of approximately 45 yards. It's quite interesting to digress slightly and see that five weight rods are used in world championships for an event called trout distance and the winning distances in the past few years were between 37 and 48 meters which is roughly 41 or 42 yards but if you watch here you can see some of these distances are actually going above that probably around about the 45 yard mark so it shows you what's possible when you're using light equipment. Now the advantage of using a five weight line you actually get a much more delicate presentation and if you hook a fish there's less line weight for the fish to pull around. Another uh, advantage of using lighter lines, it's much less tiring and it's also very beneficial for casting into the wind because the diameter is so narrow that if you have the proper technique you can actually propel a fair length of line into a fairly safe breeze. As we go round to the other side I'll do a bit of demonstration at casting into the wind. But first of all here getting some longer distances with um, this light five weight outfit. Incidentally the rod only weighs just three ounces and the uh, the reel is also very light. So the technique is to remember to make sure that you put enough energy into pull back, forward and high up. You can see the whole line going out. Now there's another maybe eight yards of the back and going beyond the 30 yard line, which gives you a good uh, 40 yard cast if you include the, um, the leader at the end. I'm actually using a 12 foot leader at the moment. And you can see how you can get the whole line going out plus at least um, between 8 and 12 yards of back and going behind without any great effort. But the trick when you're fishing with light tackle is to make sure that you never lose any tension on the line and also since it's lighter than heavier lines you must make sure that you cast with a very powerful pull going into the back cast. If you watch here I'm actually pulling down, pull back, let it Now there's a there's about 45 yard cast with a whole line and um, going out and many many yards of the backing going behind it. I'll do another longer cast and you can see it's quite possible with a five weight line to get up to towards a 50 yard mark. People wrongly thought in the past that five weight outfits were only suitable for use on rivers but you can see with the proper technique and injecting more line speed and increasing the flex of the rod you can get these um, much greater distances. So if you watch here, I'll pull more of the backing off and if you watch the line going off the ground you can see the whole line goes out and always aim fairly high on the completion of the cast to get a good delivery with that long length of line going out. If you watch here, long pull, pull up, up, let it fully straighten, pull up and then up goes. There's a whole line going out plus many yards of that, 15 yards of the backing going behind it. So you can see that it's very useful to realise that you don't have to really use heavy equipment when you're actually um, fly fishing. If you can get into the habit of having the right technique with lighter tackle, very, very comfortable to use and much greater fun playing large fish with light equipment. And another advantage people don't realise is when you're fishing, for example, a fast action rod you probably find it's only the top 
12 inches, it's really flexing. The rest is very, very stiff. Now, if you look at a five weight, see how much flex there is right down the whole length of the rod, and that really acts as a spring, and it actually helps to kill the fish quicker because you've got all that flex and that spring effect playing the fish. Whereas, if you imagine if you've got a, only a rod which is only bending 12 inches from the top, it's only that section the top is actually putting any pressure on the fish but as soon as you have a rod which is lighter and with more flex you tend to be able to put more pressure and kill the fish sometimes much quicker with a lighter rod so once again the technique is always to make sure that you put sufficient energy in the first pull when you're doing a distance cast on the light line if for example you leave the hand down here what happens is you lose line tension and you see how there's absolutely no velocity if the line going forward. You must always get into the habit, as I said in previous um, information on YouTube, of falling right up with your left hand towards the butt ring so that you have the proper position to do the forward cast. Up, follow right up, up, pull up, pull up, pause, down, up, and then there's other casting out right onto the water without any great difficulty. Now, another problem people find, as I keep explaining, is by moving your body too much and moving the rod in a circular motion. If, for example, uh, if you take the rod to the right and you try to do the forward cast by bringing it back in towards your body, what you're virtually doing is actually moving the power in a very wide arc and unfortunately the loop of line is very wide, it's got no velocity through the air. If you start going like this here, see how wide the line is moving because the line always follows a rod tip and if you actually take it out here and pull it in, the line has got no velocity. As soon as you condense the power stroke and move in the same plane in the back and the forward, same plane, stop, forward, same plane and then You see the whole line goes out, and well, that's that's a good 50. You see, 15 yards of the um, back and going beyond the 30 yard line, so it's giving you a fair cast in these conditions. The wind's not very strong, it's roughly 12 miles an hour at the moment. So, obviously, you could see if it's a lot stronger, you could get up towards the 50 yard mark. So, if you watch here again, make sure that you're moving in the same plane in the back in the forward cast. Try to avoid any huge movements with your right arm otherwise you're going to form a huge loop of line and the line is not going to have any great distances particularly with light equipment you have to speed up the overall movement allow the line to fully straighten flex the rod to the maximum on the back cast and then follow on down and lift up lift up get the arm going up Aim fairly high, aim up, line's going out. Now, another point with um, light equipment, because the line has less diameter, you tend to get a much faster strike because there's less surface tension to pull off the water. And if you watch when they're going to the floating line, hopefully fish start to move, you'll see how easy it is to actually just lift the line off the water and you get a much faster strike. Now, it's very useful to think that in the past people, as I said, normally used lightweight tackle, four and five weights for river fishing. And it's only really in comparative recent years there has been an interest in moving down from your seven, eight, as I say, even nine and using much lighter equipment. That's why at the World Championships they're using five weights and you can see the distances all, winning distances are all round about the 40 to 41 yard mark. So it shows you what's possible, as I said earlier, without having to resort to heavy equipment. And again, you don't require any huge muscular movement with light tackle. Just allow the, the rod to, since the rod, as I say here, is very, very flexible, just allow to make the rod work for you instead of you putting a lot of effort in. Lift up, forward, just let the pull back, forward, let the line fully straighten, fully straighten, and then forward. There we go, line goes right out. 
most people have in recent years really been using very powerful rods, I feel, um, as I say, eight, eight weights. But you can see yourself that you don't have to think that you can't get good distances with lighter tackle. It's all about using the right technique and making the rod work for you. And if you've got the, the technique, you'll find fishing with light equipment is very, very enjoyable to play fish with a five weight outfit and you don't have to think that you have to require to use a much heavier line so once again bring the line right in you. Now another technique I explained when I do my demonstrations at the Scottish Game Fair is try to bring the line as close as possible towards you because very often fish are taken quite near the bank. Now the problem being how do you extend the line to give you enough line weight to flex the rod. So the technique is here, just lift it up, cast, slip line out, lift back and then you can see the whole line can be shot out purely by extending the weight of line with that false cast and then going into the, the back cast and then giving a strong pull in the forward cast and you'll get a fair length of line without any great difficulty. So once again just pull, bring the retrieve in towards you and Try to imagine fish are lying only a few yards out from the side, but you wouldn't have sufficient line weight if you try to do a cast with only five or six yards of line beyond the rod tip. So the technique there is actually bring it up, do a couple of casts, slip out line, extend the length, pause. You can see the whole line can be shot out. Now I'd like to do some really long casts to show what's possible with a five weight outfit. You can see how you can get well up towards the 50 yard mark with the proper technique. The wind's slightly picking up at the moment and if you watch here, this is probably around about uh, certainly better than some of the world distances that we got in the past couple of years. Obviously it's quite a good an elevated position here but you're still getting up towards a fair distance with light equipment. So if you watch here, I'll do a real long cast, pull out more of the um, up to 20 yards of the backing and I'll see if I can get the whole 20 yards going out beyond the 30 yard line which gives you up towards, I say, a slightly beyond the 50 yard mark. Get that line working, straight at the back, nice up, pause, let it straighten, up, yeah. Now you must get that up. There you go. There's a whole um, 20 yards of backing going beyond the um, 30 yard line. And this is actually a, a fast sink tip. Very useful line for fishing for rainbows. And we're actually doing this filming, it's actually about the middle of November. Quite nice conditions today. It's probably around about 50 degrees with a wind speed of approximately uh, 12, 13 miles an hour, but you can see what's possible, as I say, with that type of equipment. Always remember to speed up both the back and the forward cast to get these, uh, oh, these are, just missed a fish there. Speed up to get the line moving as fast as possible. Let's get it up. Oh. Change on to a floating line after this and go through the same technique. Let the line fully straighten. Straighten at the back. You can see how the whole line getting out there. Now very, very useful, particularly in competitions when you can get up to these type of distances because you have the advantage of, particularly in the afternoon session when the fish have moved further out, very often people do well, particularly if water's been stocked the previous week, the fish tend to move out in the afternoon in the competition and if you can actually get further than your other competitors you have a much better chance of getting more fish in the bank. If you watch here you can see how you can get the whole line going out and you can cover water approximately 50 yards in front of you so it gives you a huge advantage um, for practical fishing purposes. Again if you'll notice always remember to fully allow the line to fully unrolling your back cast. Don't try to go like this here otherwise the line's going to just splash in the water. Make sure that the line is fully straightened before you do your forward cast. Fully straightened. Straight. Forward. 
bike. There you go. All you can see all the um, all these cars are pulling plenty of backing beyond the 30 yard line, so they're all going without any great problem with fear distance in front. And always remember, as I said in previous um, films of main casting, to aim fairly high, particularly when you've got a long length of line going out on your forward cast, aim fairly high and follow on down with the rod and line towards the water. You imagine you've got uh, a few feet above the water, aim along a distance, particularly this length of about six or seven feet, and just follow on down and you'll get a much better presentation. I've actually only got one fly on at the moment. When you're using three flies, it's sometimes advantageous to try and open the loop up a bit so you don't get the line tangling up on the underside. So make sure, as I say, you aim fairly high and follow on down in this manner here and that'll give you a much better... You don't slap down onto the water like that, otherwise you see how the line splashes. Try and elevate the power stroke and you'll get a much better presentation. Up, oh, poise. Pull up, let the line straighten. Up, straighten. Up, down, down, and let it drift on. You get a much better presentation.